Hi, it's Jim again. And uh, year 2022, January the 3rd. Yeah, today we talk about the uh, fishing. Yeah, you look at it, it's all the fishing rod, fishing tackle. Yeah, this year, uh, uh, if I don't go ice fishing, the fishing season is over. And then um, before the, the ice melt, I normally got nothing to do. I just uh, fix the tackle. And then, um, yeah, that's what I, what I do. And then today I'm gonna talk about the, uh, some, I should say, magic moment uh, when I go fishing. Right, so uh, that means uh, I don't think uh, I could copy this kind of moment in my uh, fishing life. Right, so uh, it's pretty exciting. It's it uh, bring you a lot of memory. Right, so uh, if uh, some of the moment and somebody else can do it, they, that I don't think uh, it's worth to bring it here to talk. But those moments, it's kind of like a magic. All right, so. Uh, yeah, let's start uh, from the first one, and then, yeah, I, I started fishing about 20 years ago, and then I have my boat about more than 10 years, and then I have, uh, yeah, uh, several different boats, uh, right? So, yeah, it's all come from the boat fishing, and then um, about, hmm, six, seven years ago, right? And then when I go Bay of Quinty, and then we go for bass fishing, right? So um, that day, it's uh, like, a, they call it dark day. It's very hot. And then uh, I believe it's the middle of uh, the August. Very hot, no wind. And then uh, we started launch the bowl around nine o'clock. And then all the way to one o'clock, I uh, got, we don't get anything <laughs> and no, not even one bite. Uh, we try different area, different uh, way to fishing. All right. So, um, well, it looks like uh, we will have a <laughs> miserable day. And then we, yeah, drove up to a uh, area, which is uh, the area we've been fishing a lot of time, but uh, in this area, there is a um, uh, wheat uh, area. The wheat is very tall, it's about six feet tall or something like that. All right, if you, even you standing on the, on the bow, you stand up, the, the wheat tall is like uh, your high, all right? It's, and then we've been fishing around this uh, wheat uh, area uh many years and then we didn't go close to the wheat and then fishing there because uh the wheat is just very strong right even you hook the fish and then you know it's hard to get get the fish out and then i i have another honey spot around that and then if we go we can get fish from the honey hole and then we don't go there because uh, we saw so many bull, you know, go there fishing for like a half an hour, 10 minutes, they left. That means they don't get fish, right? So if they get fish and then <laughs> they will stay for longer. All right, that area is a big, like uh, two or three basketball court. You know, it, it's pretty big, it's pretty big. All right, it's like kind of like, uh, well, all right. So, uh, well, we have no choice. So why don't we have a try? And then uh, we first, uh, when we are poach, and then we use uh, the, um, the jig, and then we use uh, punching, 
uh, tackle and uh, one of my friends uh, he started to land a fish oh yeah you have fish that's good let's start it and then I have uh, all kind of different tackle ready I, and then I asked him uh, what did you use he said yeah I use punching okay I pulled out uh, my punching rig and then I start to land fish but at the beginning, well, we have a lot of bite, but uh, half of them, they, we, did, we could not land it because, uh, yeah, if you have uh, set the hook too late and then the fish will go down to the root of the wheat and then end up uh, you, the fish uh, escape or you, your line is not strong to pull the hook out, right? If the, the hook hook up at the root of the uh, wheat, and then we use a very heavy light. It's like a sixty five pound, and then it will still break a lot of line, and then uh, it's getting frustrated. And we use uh, the weight. It's a tungsten weight, right? And uh, some of them is a uh, one ounce, uh, three quarter ounce. It's pretty expensive. It's like ten dollar for for each uh, weight. Very frustrated, and then um, but we keep changing, and then uh, we still land a lot of fish, right? And when you land a fish, you you don't you have to have a very good skill after you uh, set the hole, and then you know. You don't let the fish go down to the the water. The water it's uh, like a three to four feet uh, deep, All right? So uh, if you go down to deep to the bottom of the the water, and then uh, it's hard to land the fish. Okay, so it's going on. It's a uh, you know end up we we have a fun, right? We get a lot of fish, and then we get tired because uh, and the um. If it, 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 the edge of the wheat, all right, it's easy to land the fish, all right? But uh, if you throw in, in the uh, more, further more of the, to the center of uh, the, the wheat, and then, uh, yeah, even you, you hook up the fish, you, you cannot land it, uh, or end up you break your tackle, and then break your line, <laughs> and you lost your, your rig. Okay, so uh, we all tired that uh, we get some fish and now and then we have a break. During the break, and then I say, okay, why don't we try something different? All right. So, yeah, I know there is uh, some some uh, uh, area in the center of the wheat, and then the wheat is not as uh, thick, and uh, not as um, yeah I. I know there is a, it's like a, uh, like a, like a, like a, like a part, like a, like a one car size. Uh, there is a no, no, no wheat there. All right. But you have to throw all the way, uh, throw, uh, we, we call it the blind, blind, blind cast. All right. Okay. So I try my, my best, I try to cast as far as I can. I hit uh, my my lure uh, dum, and uh, I I hear the the sound. The lure touch the water, and then I start working on that. I have a bite. All right, I set the hook. It's about at least at least uh, 50, 60 Feet at least, all right, away from uh, my boat. All right, I have a oh my god, it's like a like a physical exercises. All right, I I land the first fish. It's a blind cast. All right, after I land the land the first fish, it's I almost get exhausted, and then uh, I I look at my um, my lure. It's okay. And then I make it 
you know, the same way I cast the same direction, same uh, far, and then I hear the my lure touch the water, don't, and then I start to work on that. And then, yeah, I, I have a bite, I set the hole, I land the fish. Oh my God, it's very physical. And then, yeah, it's very exciting. I have a two fan on, on my bow, and then they are just doing uh, cheerleader. It's all, <laughs> and then, okay, hey, try hard, come on, come on. All right, this is the first, uh, I should say, it's a magic moment. Uh, I don't think I can copy it. You know? If it's open water, well, so many times you got to get a fish, right? It doesn't matter big or small, you have two cars, two fish, it's normal. But in that environment, that situation, all right, it's, uh, and then difficult level is very high. And <laughs> so I land two fish, all right? So this is the first, uh, I should say, a magic moment. Uh, yeah, because uh, the it's hard to do it, you know. Uh, if you got uh, 10 cars, you got two fish, in that situation, it, it, it's uh, normal. But uh, two cars, two fish, <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, I don't think I can copy it. And, but anyway, yeah, this is the first one. The second one is uh, walleye fish in the evening. Yeah, there is a very um, popular area in the uh, Bay of Quinn, and uh, we go and uh, before before winter and then late uh, fall. Right, um, the big walleye uh, they swim back uh, from the big lake, uh, Lake Ontario. And then those fish uh, is coming from outside, right? And we call it the, not the local fish. They all big, they all chunky, and then they ready for the winter, all right? So um, yeah, and uh, we went there like uh, sometimes, and you know, not it just cut one or two, you know, maybe it's not that. Good, but I heard about a lot of uh, like uh, great moment from my friend and from you know I heard a lot of story about those people. They say, oh, I got thirty by in uh, one evening, but uh, it's not easy to land. I only got uh, some, and then uh, the fish are all big, all right. So uh, you can easily get a uh, ten pound walleye in yeah when when you are lucky, right? So we went there at the the first time. Uh, not very lucky, and then the other fisherman in my bowl he got one. I don't even have a one bite, and at the the first time. And then uh, later on, um, my friend uh, he, he heard the news and he said, "Hey, yeah, the, the fish is getting getting more. Okay, let's go." And we go there, and then. Uh, we normally we we go there um, before sunset and find a good spot and uh, put my uh, trolling motor in a spot lock and then we just wait there and then we do the tackle rigging trying all right and in that day yeah the fishing it's very good and when when the after the sunset it become dark very soon we got two all right i got one my my friend in my bowl he, he got one so well everything become easier you know <laughs> and then i i thought it's no challenge you know and then i pulled out a one ultra light uh rod and then with the six pound line and then that rig is for perch fishing all right jig head with the uh, uh, 
uh, white graph, right? So, yeah, I think so. It's it's no 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 challenge. I, I want to challenge myself. I use a light tackle to see if I can get the big fish. All right. So after that, and then the magic moment started. All right. So. Basically, I got about eight fish in half an hour. All right, so two of them is over 10 pounds. All right, so uh, every direction I cast, and then very soon I will got the fish. And my, my friend, my bow, he got crazy, you know, because uh, he didn't even have a bite. All right, there were three bow around me. All right, um, it's under the bridge, right? And there is a, about thirty saw fishermen there on the saw. All right, they they are doing at that half an hour. I only saw one or two uh, fish landing. All right in three bowl and in in the saw right me he got eight and then i didn't lost one fish every bite i landed and then uh, there is a one missing is i i i feel the bite i set the hook and then uh, you know i i start to fight and end up the fish uh, it's gone uh, in my hook, I saw a fish scale, and then I think uh, it's uh, <laughs> accidentally we uh, hook up, not in the mouth. That's the only one fish uh, escape, right? And I successfully uh, landed all of them, and in, and then I have two fish is more than ten pounds. So what's the you know something people could not uh, copy uh, I don't think I can copy too is uh, I use the ultra light six feet rod six pound line to land the big fish and then in half an hour I get eight that's something I don't think people can can copy all right if uh, the fish is very a lot you know everybody got fish there's not not the magic moment you know because it's, it's a lot of fish and then the, the fish are willing to bite but only me all right there are three bowl i only see one or two fish landing in half an hour but i got eight and i only see one or two uh fish landing uh, and, uh, and among 30 those uh uh, the those people they they fishing from the saw, and then then there's one or two landing only me half an hour I land eight, I use a super light tackle, and then the landing rate is very high. In the same bowl, my friend in that half an hour don't even have a bite. That's the magic moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, end up uh, we have a great time that's uh, the second magic moment I have okay and uh, even this year we we landed about uh, we have a good time and then one evening we landed about 20 fish and uh, three people in my boat all right include me but still could not compare uh, the one I'm I did uh, about six, six, seven years ago. I cannot compare. In half an hour, eight fish, two of them over ten. All right, ultra light rod, and then six pound line. <laughs> yeah, I I remember the um, the jig head is uh, a quarter ounce. All right, so this is a second uh, magic moment in my. When I fish, um, there is one uh, just happened uh, 
few months ago, uh, I, I, I should say it's uh, hard to copy if it's uh, if the the fish is just a lot, right? So, yeah, uh, which is uh, I went to do the ocean fishing. Uh, I I fish from the shore. Yeah, actually, it's a it's a marina. It, it, it it's a mouth of a marina, and then. I fish for mackerel, right? In the season, at the uh, end of uh, August, I we drove uh, one thousand five hundred kilometer up to uh, Quebec. This is uh, the mouth of uh, Saint Lawrence River to the ocean, right? And in that season, that there is a lot of uh, mackerel. The, they go there, um, spawning or, or chasing for the the food, uh, uh, chasing for the the, uh, the fish uh, they 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 eat. It's a it's a little skinny fish, you know. But anyway, so uh, uh, the normal local people they fish. Uh, they use a weight uh, with the hook at the bottom, and then three hook on the top uh, somebody even have a five hook on the top you know they they separate several inch you know and then uh, some of them they got six at the time all right uh, the most uh, uh, fish uh, my I got is uh, three at a time right? And uh, my wife got four at the same car, one one car, I got four. But uh, my magic moment, it's, uh, I, I don't like those, those kind of things because uh, it's like a, a labor work. Uh, it's a no skill, it's just hard working. I use my, um, uh, my light tackle, I use one hook, one lure. And then cast out and then let it sink. When I feel the bite, I land the fish one by one. All right. So this is my the way I like to do it. And then my magic moment is uh, constantly 13 cast. Got 13 fish. All right. So... Uh, before that, I have uh, five cars or five fish, uh, seven cars or seven fish, and then the next cars got no fish, right? So, uh, and I keep trying this, and then it's like a, a <laughs> it's like a game, all right? All the way till 13 fish, after I landed, I cast the 14th one. There is a bowl, you know, out of the the bay, and then it it it, it crossed my line and drive to the ocean, right? It's a fishing bowl, and then those fish uh, stop biting. Then my <laughs> my moment is stop, right? So that's a uh, thirteen cars, thirteen uh, a macro. Uh, yeah, it could be a copy, but uh, it is still very exciting and then uh, and memorable, right? And it gave me a good memory. And um, something similarly like that is um, it's about yeah the when I fishing uh, before the walleye, I go Lake Simcoe for perch fishing I have uh, because uh, we don't do the uh, vertical chicken right we do the horizontal uh, style and then I cast it out and reel it in and that day the fishing is very well and then I have a fish five cast I got five fish it, well a lot of people did that uh, five cast but let me tell you, if you go perch fishing, 
that perch is over one pound. It's kind of like a huge, right? So I, I did five cards, five fish. Each fish is over one pound, right? So that's uh, another uh, exciting moment and bring me uh, a good memory. Okay, so far the, those are the, the, I will say the exciting moment when I'm fishing. Uh, yeah, maybe in the future I will have more, <laughs> right? So anyway, so much for today and then uh, Happy New Year and um, yeah, see you next time.